Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, one of the things that I've been trying today, I usually look at the listings for EIBI, but uh, you can actually look. There are different uh, software on the bottom part of the page of EIBI Space, and the one that I actually downloaded was EIBI View here. Um, when you download it, be careful because it contains outdated schedules. You have to update the schedules by downloading the files like this one here at the top on the page, the CSV database. You need to have that to replace the outdated files from the, so the uh, software. So what I did, if um, we go to, uh, to the file explorer here, what you see here, this is actually cre I created a, uh, a different folder where I removed everything that is um, within here because in the main page you see there's an AOK B14 you know these are very old files uh, for like more you know, like almost 10 years ago you got to remove all of that so what I did is I cleaned it up by creating simply a new folder and I only copied the program and what I wanted in it and I actually have SCED A23 CSV here which is what opens up uh, and is being shown like this. So it kind of gives you a different perspective and different view with a little piece of software that runs on Windows. So uh, this is on Windows 10, and uh, you have it on Windows 11. works fine, too. You can also download the AO key database and also have that, uh, which means you have even more information on the uh, listings here. So it's kind of cool. I have kind of have... Uh, some fun you see here it uh, erased and came back because it updates depending on the time so that you get all of the broadcasts uh, from the station so I've been going through and uh, scanning the bands so uh, you can have stations by kilohertz by time so you choose whatever you want uh, you could have it um, you know what's coming up next on a certain frequency the ITU the beam uh, by station name and so on uh, depending on what you're searching for, you just, uh, you know, choose the correct one. And then you uh, you can go through the frequencies and, and search the database of uh, what you're listening to and so on. So, for example, right now I'm listening to Radio France International in French on 17850, uh, which is what I have chosen here. And you could see here it gives you the location of the transmitter. And if you have it correctly configured, because I might be missing some files, you even have the direction of the transmission where it's going to. Technically, this one should be sent to Central Africa here. So anyways, um, if you want to try that out, uh, remember, you got to tweak the uh, files if you want to have the correct schedules because the ones that come with the software are outdated. But playing around with that, kind of uh, an interesting new look to the EIBI space. Uh, and if you also use AO key listings, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.